Hello, and welcome to the Activation Nation podcast, your weekly source of actionable advice from industry experts in self-development, health, life vantage products, network marketing, and more to help you activate your wellness, your business, and your life. Today's episode focuses on company, one of the four pillars of belief. But first, the legal stuff. You may hear our guests talk about the income they've earned or how their health has been affected with LifeVantage. Please note that the average annual earnings of a typical active LifeVantage distributor in 2021 was $704. For the most up-to-date information, please click the link in our show notes. Any product statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Our products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. And now, here's your host to dive into today's story to help you activate your life. Hello, 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 Activation Nation podcast. Welcome to this week's episode. I'm going to be your host, Colton Smith, one of your directors of sales here at LifeVantage. And today's episode dives into the pillar of belief, belief in companies. So we are talking all about belief in LifeVantage. And we got a good one for you today because our presenter is none other than Elite Pro 9, Marcy Steiner. Marcy is someone that I've been able to work with for over 10 years here at LifeVantage. She's a really fun, really energetic person that comes through on this episode. And you're going to be hearing all about Marcy's story, about how she started up here at LifeVantage, her journey into this specific opportunity, why LifeVantage, why right now. Really good content in this particular episode. So without further ado, let's go ahead and have Marcy take it away. Marcy Steiner. Hello, Colton. What's up? I am so excited to be here. I got to be honest. I've been really, really looking forward to this conversation. Aww. You know, I think I've had this one kind of circled because like, I know I know who you are. We've been able to interact a bunch of times over the last, you know, my 12 years here at the company. And uh, just knowing that, okay, this conversation's coming up. We're going to get to like hear your story, hear your insight. I'm just, I'm just super pumped. Let's it's, do it. It's it's amazing. And everyone listening, I mean, this is going to be a fun episode. Marcy Steiner, incredible leader here at LifeVantage, an Elite Pro 9 from from Maryland. And uh, But you know what, Marcy? I don't think I need to like share. I don't need to share your story. I know that you're incredible. I know that you're amazing. But our, our leaders may, that may not know you, I would love for you just to share a little bit about yourself, you know, who you are where you're from and a little bit of your your background because this episode we're going to be we're going to be talking about the company we're going to be talking about life vantage and and I think you in particular you have a very unique perspective because mm-hmm. you are someone that grew up in this industry you grew up in this industry you've seen a lot uh, in the industry of network marketing so this I'm, I'm just so excited and anxious just to hear your story and, and what you have to share so floor is yours let's give a little background like Tell us about yourself a little bit. A little bit about me? A little bit about you. I get a little bit, you know, crazy and a little bit rock and roll, Colton. I mean, I'm, 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 I get a little silly sometimes. But, you know, I um, I did grow up in this industry. Uh, if you want to know, like, a little bit about my professional background, my mother was a single mom who, I don't know if anyone listening here is a single mom or, you know, if you are in this business and you have kids, I was one of those kids. Mm -hmm. And I literally like watched my mom um, and we built a business together growing up and had a a great time, but I still left, uh, we were very successful and I can can say more about that later, but I left, I took, went to college. I um, went into corporate, the corporate space, and I was an executive in corporate America, helped launch the cell phone industry, was in wireless telecommunications. Love what I did, but what I didn't love is I didn't really love like having to ask off for vacation. I didn't love leaving my beach chair to come back to work. And when I got married to a guy who was like this incredible provider and, um, really had more options in life. I decided, you know, I just wanted to do my healing work. I I work with people and animals and as a holistic healer and started having children. And I just wanted to be a mom. And then I realized, you know, being a mom is is great, but I I really love, um, I love business. And so 
I was looking for a way that I could still be a mom and contribute financially and help change people's lives in as big a way as possible. And so I was actually in Arizona when I met this incredible woman who invited me to network back into network marketing as an adult. And I joined that business, which I built for 10 years. And I have to say, a lot of people think, oh my gosh, you've done so many network marketing, but and I could tell you all kinds of stories about the network marketing companies I was exposed to as a child, you know, even as a, or as a teenager, you know. But um, they are not created equal. You can't just clump them together, opportunities, and say, oh, I did that before. They're so unique. And what I found is that I loved the company I was with, which I built, you know, for t- second to the top of that company. But <sighs> Not everybody could do what I could do. You know what I mean? It was like, it was not really a situation where I was successful, but a lot of people I was working with were not. I would say that, okay? And so all was really going well. I was making enough money that I could give to causes that I believed in. Everybody has their own dreams that are in their heart without having a conversation with my husband. That's what I, you know. (laughs) I was like, I want the freedom to give where I want to give and do what I want to do. And that was all good until we had a financial loss that was unexpected. And it was very significant, like very. I mean, I went from living a life where I really wasn't thinking about money. I was just thinking about who could I help, who could I help, to just trying to figure out how to put food on the table, how to keep our kids in private school, um, how to keep a roof over our head. I mean, it was very intense. And I I thought I was going to have to go back to work like for someone else, which is hard to do when you haven't, when you haven't, when you've been an entrepreneur. And that's when Life Vantage came across my plate. So yeah. that's how I ended up here. And it's been, it was like by the grace of God, really amazing. Absolutely. You, you know, that story, it sounds very similar uh, to a conversation that I actually had with Brandon Cunningham on this podcast mm. a little while ago, where he mentions a, a very similar thing. He, I think he and, and his wife, Lynette, and Brandon and Lynette Cunningham, for those of you who don't know, they're master pro 10 distributors here at the company. But, but Brandon made a comment very similar to that, where you know, they were doing well and, and they were fine, you know, working a lot, you know, maybe not necessarily ideally in the in the spot where they wanted to be, but they also encountered a very similar time in which a lot of the money, a lot of the things that they had, they, they lost it kind of overnight. Yeah. And he made a comment specifically where he was like in a time where it was, you know, where things looked probably their worst. He's like, there was never a better time to introduce life manage to me than at that moment. And I think, and I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of times that, or maybe heard a lot of times that a lot of people were like, oh, you know, they're, they're in a hard time or, you know, maybe not right now. And, and for our master distributors or for our elite pro nines, that was the best time. That yeah. was the best time. Yep. I got tears in my eyes right now because, you know, it's it's true. We do. We meet people that so – I have met so many people in Life Vantage that just said at the time that this opportunity came to me, I was on my hands and knees or, you know, I was really in this place. And and that's where I was. I, I really was just like surrendering and 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 I was just – it was hard to believe. I almost felt like it was an out-of-body experience as I continued to find out more and more and discover more about Life Vantage. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But you know what? You're here. Yes. Thank and that's, you. And, and we're pumped to have you here. <laughs> oh, and, thank you. And, and, you know, I think I'd like to hear a little bit about, you know, you, so you finally, you, you enter the arena again of network marketing. Yes. Start building for about another decade. Yeah. And then, and then you have this opportunity to come over here to Life Vantage. And I'd like to hear a little bit more about, I guess, when you came over here initially to Life Vantage, did you have immediate success? I, I, I don't know how many, how often that happens with a lot of our leaders. And, and what would you say if you didn't, or maybe if, even if you did, what were some of the biggest obstacles that you encountered, you know, mm. when you first came over here to Life Vantage? Actually, I would say I did have immediate success. Well, good. I mean, I, I, I mean <laughs> but I'll tell you, I could tell you why, you know, like it wasn't really about me. It was really about the team and mm-hmm. it was because of the wisdom that I had um, acquired over those, uh, over those years. I, I really knew that to make this uh, business successful, it was about replication. And so what I saw was there was this incredible system here. And I, um, 
Yeah, so I just basically came in and I, I told my, my, my family, I told my husband, I told my kids, I said, you know what, you guys, I found something. Mommy found something. Now, obstacles were time because what I know is that running for promotions is one of the best things you can do to build a business, like whatever, wherever the carrot is, right? And when mm -hmm. I came in, there was a promotion going on. I only had 10 days to win that promotion. So this is just a tip. I mean, even if you don't have a promotion going on, I think if you really wanna be successful or you wanna take your business to the next level, set the bar high and then kind of just draw the line in the sand and, and create some moment in time, because that's what I did. And I, it, what that involved is every single day I was inviting, every single day I had at least three qualified prospects that were looking at this business opportunity. And, and so at the end of, 10 days, I had new business partners, and then they learned the simple system, who taught the simple system, and that's how I went pro three my first month, pro four the next month, and pro five the next month. There you go. It bada really bing, works. Boom. Yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can do this. I mean, you know, it was like, it was nothing, no, no rocket science. It was just like, teach me what to do. Teach me the system, do it, and teach it. Well, I, and, and I would be kind of along those same lines, kind of what you were just talking about. I'd be interested to hear, you know, you, you have a, a lot of experience within this industry. You've seen a lot of different network marketing companies. You've seen a lot of different opportunities. Mm -hmm. For you specifically, or, or I guess for someone in general, what is, what is the most important thing to evaluate when someone's looking at a network marketing opportunity? What, what would you say is like the most important thing to say, okay, like this, this is out of everything. This is what you got to find. One thing, I mean, I or think maybe it's, it's multiple things. I think it's it's like everything. Like you know, it's 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 really kind of all those components that we talk about when we explore any business opportunity that you'd want to look at, whether it's the company itself, the uh, the trends, what's happening. Because obviously, in business, you want to be in a space where the trends are expanding, right? You don't want like shrinking, shrinking trends, right? Health and wellness, largest economic trend in world history, anti-aging, home-based business, like all of those things, I think we're smack dab in the middle of that. Um, in terms of the company itself, I think products are important. Um, there's no question. I would not have, if, if I didn't learn about our flagship activator, ProTandem NRF2, there's no way I would have been here. Everything else, like timing obviously is like critical, but every company is going to say like right place, right time. You can hear that over and over. Everyone, it's almost like sure. you could listen to any opportunity presentation. You're going to hear, oh, you're at the right place at the right time, right? Um, but what I saw, I think it was probably, even though I, I was looking for a business opportunity, I wasn't looking for a product. I would say the product was the thing that caught my attention because of the fact that we were in a space that was such a breakthrough technology, that there were patents there, that there was science that was third party validated, incredible, and it housed in a space like the National Institute of Health, you know, where I wouldn't have to explain it, where somebody else could go and check it out. Like that was so powerful. And I knew every, even though it's not a drug, Every pharmaceutical company out there has their hands in this space, but here we were doing it in a natural way and we were first to market. I mean, and there is no, there is no other more efficacious way to activate this pathway. So I just thought this was a biotech company that should have never been network marketing. This is a real business. And because I knew I could step in here and for a thousand dollars participate, like capitalize on this incredible breakthrough that was going to lead to more and more breakthroughs. I was just like, that was it. That was, I, I would think like when I think back, there's no question. I was looking at this, like a real business opportunity. I thought nobody, nobody, everyone needs this. Everyone needs it. I mean, is that a big enough target market? I mean, Colton, come on. Every, everyone. I think that's a pretty big market. Pretty big, everyone. right? Everybody, you know, like everyone needs it. No one else has what we have. Like that's pretty big. We've got protection around it. It was a simple system. I could just go on and on and on. It was like everything was here, the compensation plan. I got to tell you, like compensation plans, they are not created equal. 
If you really dig in there, I mean, that's something I could really get into and talk well, about. Well, let's let's get into it because because I think we just heard from you like like all of those all of those sort or components kind of played into your decision to join Life Manage the the timing, the opportunity, the product, uh, and the comp, I think comp plan is is part of that as well. You know, mm-hmm. and and what I mean, we we I mean, in your words, you said you Life Manage best comp plan. But I've never let me tell you something. In my last business, I was on the I wonder field. If that's gonna be cut compliance. But I was let's, let's okay. Well, well I'm gonna out. say this. Let's just I can say it this way. In my last business, I was on the field advisory board. We I have pulled compensation plan over my 20 plus years of being a professional full time in this industry. I have evaluated compensation plans. I have ripped them apart. I have tried to give input to build compensation plans. I have looked, I have never ever in my life seen anything like what Life Manage has to offer. So generous, you know, rewards the right behavior, drives the right behavior. Like I could just go on and on. So, I mean, I could tell you, like, I definitely see things with our compensation plan. You just, that I just, it, I get excited. Totally. Which which part of the compensation plan would you say makes you like the most excited? Like out of, out of everything that the comp plan has to offer. Is there one thing in particular that just. Do I have to just say one or can I say You everything? could say, or you could say them all. I mean, can I? Because I mean, I got to tell you, like, <laughs> I get so excited. I don't think there's anything wrong with money. Money is a good thing. Yeah. Sometimes people are like, they feel bad, like, oh, I don't, I'm not in it for the money. Well, then I'm always like, okay, well, why did you say yes to being a business partner, distributor? Why didn't you just become stay a customer? Because money is a good thing. Money allows us to contribute to causes that we believe in, to have more choices in life, to take people care of people that we love. I mean, it's a good thing. So here's what I saw. Um, first of all. Upfront money, like that smart start bonus, that is huge. Like literally, if you just think about behavior, stimulus response, right? Stimulus reward, There, the positive reinforcement for somebody coming in that does a little bit of sharing, which could be really, really scary for people. That at the beginning when you come in, it's scary. You're, you're notifying, like, I mean, it's like you have to make this decision. And I remember even even me, even somebody like Marcy Steiner, who was like already successful, I I felt like before I shared the first time, like I was jumping off a cliff. But when I heard that for a very, very little bit of over like overhead in my business, like 200 points a month, I was gonna be able to like earn 40% commission, that was crazy to me. I'm like, this is that that reward up front. And then to help other people do the same thing and get that check in their hand, that's real money. When it becomes so tangible like that, I just, as a business owner that wants to empower other business owners, I love that I can put it, I can empower them. Literally, they can, if they want to make money now, look how many people are out there driving Uber. Yeah. People want to do something and make money right now. Mm-hmm. They want to put gas in their car. They want to. They want money right now. And like our comp, there's a lot of compensation plans. I meet people in other companies. They work their brains out, and it's like they're still not making money in years and years and years. Like it's just not there. And we can do it coming out of the gate. And I love the fact that the 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 PV our our personal points volume requirement could be offset with our personally enrolled customers purchases. So really, this business is completely accessible to people. Think about it. If you got to have 40 of your own points, not that I teach that, but what if you were in a position where you were like I was, where it was like really, really hard to be able to just come in, have a few customers, get fully qualified, keep those customers, and move forward? Literally, someone who's on my 50th level that, that I that I've see as a leader, a rock star, I can work with them. And that growth in that business is going to roll up and help me go to that next rank. Uh, I know I'm getting deep into these details, but I'm telling you, I think about this stuff, Colton. I mean, I love compensation <laughs> plans. Good, though. I mean, seriously, like I, I really get into the numbers and the strategy and, and life advantage is just so generous. Everything we have pays the right behavior. There's no drive-by sponsoring. I mean, why would I do that? I want to help. The, the compensation plan is literally rewarding me for helping my people help their people help their people help their people month after month after month after month. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and so so I think with all that combined, you know, when you're talking about life advantage, opportunity, yes, yeah. timing, yes, product, yes, comp plan, yes. 
And and this this one particular facet, I'm very interested to hear what you have to say in particular because I know this is a big part of of what you all teach within your teams, but the system, talking about a system. I know that you have developed a system with your team. Mm -hmm. And I'd be interested to hear a little bit more about this because let's let's you know, I you're an Elite Pro Nine. You have new people joining in your downline every single day. Yeah. And I'd be interested to hear, you know, for you, for a brand new person that's just joining Life Vantage, they're excited, they're ready to go, they see that Life Vantage has everything that they want and they're ready to rock and roll. For you, what would you say is the very first thing that they need to do? The first thing they need to do is make a very big list, like huge. I never teach anyone or ask anyone to do, put 25 names on a list. I know other people feel like that's good. For me, it's a minimum of 100, 100 to 300, okay? 100 to 300 names, because you're not prejudging, you're just putting them on your list. The very first thing you have to do is you have to just be, know how to invite. That's it, that's all you have to do to get started. Because believe it or not, our system, you've probably heard of it before. Invite, tool, team, that's it, that's what we do. ITT. So all, all someone starting needs to know how to do is have the name in front of them. And then I, I, I teach them to ask is if this person on this list were to see this business opportunity like I do, would I like to be in business with them? And if the answer is yes, then we're going to leave with a business invite. If the answer is no, we're going to leave with a product invite. And that's it. That's all someone has to do. And I try to just keep it that simple. Like don't get caught up in everything else that you're going to have to learn because you earn while you learn. It just, it's like, it just keeps unfolding and you get what you need to get at that certain time, you know? Absolutely. Which is, I'm still getting it. And I kind of don't got it all the time. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's the truth. No, it's, it, it's a process. And, and, and I guess I'd be interested to hear as well, you know, what other habits would you say are, you know, for someone just starting up in a network marketing business? I, I, I know you, I've been able to see just firsthand, like you have a very entrepreneurial just spirit. Like you, if you need something done, you go ahead and you just get it done. You know, the, yeah. that, that is just, that's Marcy Steiner. I've, I've been able to work <laughs> with you for a number of years. That's, that's how I see it. if Marcy needs something done, like there's no fear in that. Like you're just going out there and getting it done for, for you, I guess, what would you say are some of the other, you know, if someone wants to be successful in this business? You know, what would you say are some of the other habits that, that someone needs to have in order to, to really start to build and develop a successful life vantage business? I mean, s stay consistent with income producing activities. You know, I think as long as you keep moving forward, doing the right things, there's no way that you're not going to be successful. You are going to keep failing forward, right? You're going to keep learning and... I think the habit is just doing it even if it's not perfect, even if it's not, you know, beautiful or whatever. I, I've really had to learn that. It's just like when the fear gets in the way, and fear does because we're human, right? It's like mm -hmm. stuff's going to happen. The self-doubt's going to creep in. Um, like, oh, I've never been here before. Like I've never, I'm, I'm you know, because it, it does. It comes up. You just have to just say like not let any of the stuff that's trying to get in the way have more power over you. That's what I've, I've, I just acknowledge it. And I'm like, I, I can love it, but that I can put it in the drawer. I can just push it off to the side and say, no, you know what? My dreams and, and the dreams of the people that I'm supporting are way more important than this. And so you're not getting in the way. You meaning I'm talking to my fear or I'm talking to my self doubt or whatever. And, and I think that the, the habit then would be just to continue to move forward despite any of the stuff that have, it's really a head game. Sure. It is so like to be successful in this business, it's it's a personal growth business that we get paid to do. And you got to be able to be like, I call it the universal prove it principle. Tests are going to come up. Things are going to come up. Obstacles are going to show up. But my, if you have that belief, if you have that habit of knowing like that, you can control your own thoughts. You can control your own beliefs. You can control your actions. You can't control other people's beliefs. Their, their actions, their thoughts. I can't control the weather. I can't control whether planes cancel. I can't, there's so many things I can't control. But if I can have the habit of just focusing on what I can control and being very clear about what I want and knowing that my, my actions, my 
decisions to spend my time are in alignment with what I want, you're going to move, I'm moving forward. You're going to move forward if you do that. So just consistent action in the direction that you want. Choose, be clear about what you want. I mean, that's that's another thing. It's like sometimes we don't know what we want. And so we're taking action. We're kind of all over the place. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's a just taking a moment. I, I like it's a good thing to do at the beginning of the month or even if your month's not going exactly where you want it to go. I mean, maybe the beginning of the year we do it, but it's it's and that seems like a, a, a logical time to do it. But you can do it even in the middle of the month. You could be like, you know, where I am right now, it's not where I thought I'd be in the middle of the month. So what where do I want to be? And what's the next right thing? What's the next right thing? Someone we don't know the right thing. So you gotta tap into your team. You gotta you gotta have a mentor, somebody that can help you see the light where you shine the light on the next step when you don't you don't necessarily know where you're going. I mean, it's normal. It happens. For sure. So that's another habit. Keep reaching up, keep tapping into your mentor. Absolutely. And and you made mention of this, and I I'd, I'd be interested to hear a little bit about personal development. I, I mean, mm. you just, you talked about a lot of the stuff is just in, in people's heads when they're brand new, starting in a network marketing business. A lot of people have never done this before. A lot of people haven't been entrepreneurs before. And, and I, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head that I, there's probably some personal development that needs to be done. I, could I ask you, what are, what are some of the things that you do for your, for your own personal development? Do you, are there, do you read, are there podcasts they listen to or, or, or mentors that you go to? I, I guess, what are some of the avenues that you leverage for, for your own personal development? I have read a lot of books and um, mostly like personal development books. I'm not a big reader, but somehow or another I get lost in those or, you know, listening to uh, listening to them on, now I want to say tape because, because you know what, I got to tell you, when I started this business was a lot of cassette tapes. Okay. So I'm, tapes? I'm old. I'm like, yeah, hey, I, 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 mean, I know what those are. I still, you do. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm in my thirties. There was a point I'm, where I didn't want to get rid of my car because I had a cassette player in my car. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit ancient here, like dinosaur, but not, you can't tell because the collagen, I know are looking really good, but, um, <laughs> um, not to make any claims or anything. I'm just saying like, it's pretty exciting what's happening here. I'm looking young and feeling groovy, Let's go. but, um, you know, I, you're asking me what the best thing I, I mean, what I do for my personal development at this point, because life can get so full that actually not doing something helps me grow personally, like just taking the time to meditate, to literally just breathe and stop and create space so that I can listen. Maybe just ask a question, just take some, take some quiet time and ask a question, close my eyes and just breathe and connect in with my body and, and release anything that's, that might be stressful or in the way so that I can continue to have clarity about everything. Because I do believe like everything I've done from who the next person is I'm going to talk to in the Starbucks or who the next person is I'm going to call on my support team to check on them or the next person that I'm going to call to invite to this business opportunity, whatever it is, it's like I'm divinely guided inside. And that's the, the creating the space to listen has been very pivotal to the whole journey so far. And I believe we all have access to that divine wisdom. That's incredible. And, mm. and you know, I, I'd be interested to hear your your response to this because, again, you've been with Life Edge now. I, I guess we didn't even officially say which year did you officially roll. It's roll. So 10 20, years. 10 years. 10 years. 2012. Uh, August was, um, yeah. 2012. Mm -hmm. I remember us. Uh, I actually remember, I think it was 2013 was I went on an elite retreat in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And oh, that's yeah. actually where I think I first met you. We did a, an yes. excursion, like a wolf excursion or something like that. Yes. And I stopped by you on a on a bus, but yeah. that's what it was. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but so you've, you've been here for 10 years, you've built an, a successfully pro nine business. And yet I can still kind of feel that, that excitement, that energy, uh, about life manage. You're so passionate about it, you know, and, and, you know, I, I know we're a $200 million company. We're publicly traded, you know, we yeah. sponsor professional sports team. We have incredible products. Yes. Um, but I'm 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 guessing you're of the opinion that we're not done yet. Like, is this Are as you big kidding? as life advantage? Are is you kidding me? I mean, like seriously, <laughs> we have not even started. Why do you think after ten years I can barely sleep? I literally am like I wake up when someone puts me on the phone for a three way or whatever. Like I wake up as excited as I did at the first day, like more excited. I cannot even. I have to pinch myself. 
I feel like we are just a little teeny like speck of sand, one grain of sand on the beach right now. Is This is nothing. This is nothing. We are pioneering breakthroughs that are so significant and nobody knows about this yet. And it's really up to us. Like, I feel like we are the ones that, you know, by have been given this incredible gift and we just, we're past the, the ball got passed to us. We got to run. We got to run. We're not, we're not near the, the finish line. We are nowhere near that goalpost. Uh-uh. We are going to carry this ball and, and we really have to run as a team. And that's, I mean, that's the other thing I didn't say about the compensation plan. Uh, that's really what got my attention when I first got here. It was that last part, that pie. Getting a slice of the pie. The the global profit. Get, get, get the global, the pie. yeah, like, hello, are you kidding? The elite pool. I mean, that got my attention. I've been, I've been around a long time. I have the collaboration, the love, the support here. It is like none other. There is nowhere else out there where it's this real. For real. And not, not just saying it. I'm excited. Like, a win for one person is a win for all of Life Vantage. And everybody here knows it. And that's why it's like we're all brothers and sisters. We're all paddling in the same boat, you know, and we just know we haven't even, this is not it. This is where we're, we haven't even, oh my God, our boat's going to be so much bigger. It's going to be so massive. It's going to be amazing. It's it already amazing. is, but this is just, I mean, we're the lucky ones. We're the lucky ones right now. And, and, you know, if your your vision, like my vision is, is huge. It's massive. We'll just be the ones to say like, oh, yeah, I was there at that time the co- when the collagen was introduced and, you know, we were trying to figure out how we were going to get more of it. You know, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been amazing to watch. Yeah. The response has been amazing. And, and, and I, that's part of the reason why I, I love talking to Marcy in particular, I, like just everyone listening, because, because every single time I get a phone call from Marcy, I just. I feel that passion and that excitement that yeah. even after 10 years, even after becoming an elite pro nine, yeah. like she's, she's like, there's so many people that haven't heard about this. There's so much opportunity and, 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 and things going on. Like you are going out of your way to, to tell the world about life oh. vantage and it's inspiring to well, see. I got to tell you my first event, not the very first one, the second, the first one, when I actually became a business partner, I'll never forget it. I was in, um, we were in Vegas and I, I had such FOMO. I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's going to find out about this. I got to, I've got to, like, I want them to find out for me, right? So I just remember everybody in the, in the, in the hotel, on the street corners, like everywhere, people, I thought, I, if they're within reach, they got to know about it because everyone's going to know about this one day. They are, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, I just wanted them to find out about it from me or someone on my team. If you're listening, please know, like, there's room for everybody. But I, I still had that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I still had that thought. I'm going to be honest, you know. I have to tell you the truth. Okay. That's amazing. Well, time has been flying by here, Marcy. Okay. I, I think we only have time for, for one final question here. Okay. But I'd be interested to hear, and I know a lot of people would be as well, you know, you're an Elite Pro 9 out of everything, out of everything that you've learned, out of everything that you've experienced, what would you say, what was, what is the one gold nugget that Marcy Steiner can give to everyone listening right now? What is the gold nugget, the thing that you want to share? Be you. Be you. You is enough. You know, like you're here for a reason and every one of us has our own divine gifts and you know like just never quit keep going just be you stay open and um just keep faith that that if you just keep going like more and more good is going to happen awesome that's amazing life vantage activation nation there you have it Elite Pro 9, Marcy Steiner. Marcy. Colton, thank you. Thank you so much. You're so awesome. I just want to say thank you, Colton, for you being you. <laughs> really, you are so authentic and and have been here since the beginning. Like, for real, I just appreciate your commitment. And, and, and it is. Like, it, this is when you're pioneering something and you're at the beginning, whoo, you got you to gotta go through some white water. I mean, for that's sure. the thing. And and you've paddled and paddled and paddled and paddled. And it's great to be here on the journey with you. And and it's been an absolute pleasure, Marcy. Marcy, you are the bomb. Aww. Thank you so much. Thank Let's you. Let's make it happen, Activation Nation. Woohoo! Woo! 
Thank you for tuning in to the Activation Nation podcast. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Tell your friends and share your biggest takeaways from today's discussion with anyone who could benefit from them. This episode is sponsored by Life Vantage Legacy, a nonprofit dedicated to improving lives and building a lasting impact for those in need around the world. Learn more at lifevantage.com. We look forward to sharing more with you during next week's conversation. Thanks for listening and being an important part of the Life Vantage community.